Hey family, welcome back again today. We're going to take a look at that air pump from Crossman. Full disclosure, I already did open this so I could take a look at it earlier, read the directions. Um, today we're just going to assemble it and go through putting it together and getting it ready so we can pump up our new 3622. Owner's manual, like I said, read through this earlier. But I'm going to go ahead and keep our assembly instructions up because that way I know what I'm doing. Get our pieces out. So, see we got the body, handle, this is the valve, or sorry not the valve, but this is the actual uh, pressure gauge, and we got some more pieces in one more box here. Comes with some oil for maintenance. Our uh, actual hose, spare O-rings and uh, components, as well as screws and whatnot would be important, and filters, and a wrench. All right. So, first things first. It says... Install pressure gauge. It never talks about it, but technically you should also install the actual hose. So let's start with that because it shows it attached in the image. Oh. These are those pulled down for stability. Maybe if we make it stable, I'll be able to attach easier. So there we go. Finally getting some movement on it. Put that in there. All right, next up, like I said, install the gauge. And just goes right in the top here for figure one. And then we're going to use our wrench to uh, tighten it down inside there. That way we get no leakage. And use the multifunction wrench to tighten. And that was not the right size. Well, while we're here, we'll go ahead and tighten down our actual line as well. Because the next step is install the handle. It just goes right on top and put some screws through. Catch it down with the hex wrench. So yeah, we got O-rings in here, additional O-rings. Got a, an extra spring, some extra knobs and whatnot. Just spare parts. Put this down here so we can see what we're doing. All 
All right, so we're just tightening down this handle. It's a little bit of a beast to get lined up. Then you just use the wrench, nice and easy, to tighten it down. Uh, I guess one of the things I failed to mention, one of the extra pieces that's in here. So let's look at these. So it's got a testing plug and then a male foster adapter. So you can put that testing plug on there. And uh, be able to test to make sure it works. So there we have it. There's our knob for pressure. And this end to use it's our quick fit thing, which let's see if we can't put our testing plug on here. I'll close that, put the testing plug in. And then we'll test it out. All right, so we've got our cap in here. We're going to go ahead and close off our thumb screw so that we're not bleeding air anymore. Uh, so did already test this once. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. So uh, with the recording itself, so we're going to redo. Uh, so just as we do this. I'd like to point out that this pump is made in China for those that, that matters for, but the gauge itself made in Japan. So we're going to take it up to the green here. So there we go. Now it is sitting at well. Watching it slowly bleed off, which was actually holding earlier. So I pumped it to a thousand and it held. Uh, we've just bled down from about 1500 to a thousand. Seems to be holding here. Uh, I'm going to pump a little more, try to get it back to that green. Oh, no, it's still slowly going down. So it looks like we may have a slow leak somewhere. But at least uh, it does build up pressure. We'll spend some time going and look at that. Uh, but that's not for video. Do that uh, on my time. I said earlier I did pump this up to a thousand and let it sit for a little bit and it held pressure. Uh, so now we're just going to go ahead and open the valve here. Let's get these off. And uh, we'll leave that open, and that's all for now.